Supreme Court coming down heavily on the BCCI chief N. Srinivasan observing that he must step down to ensure a fair investigation into the IPL fixing scandal. But what really does this mean for the BCCI and for Srinivasan? What could be the implication? Let's get in more details from Tina. Tina, what really are you hearing now? How is this case going to pan out and what really could be the implications of these observations by the Apex Court? Well, I'll start with your last question first, Deepthi. The implication is extremely huge for N. Srinivasan because as our colleague Meenakshi has been telling us, the BCCI will, of course, present uh, its uh, further arguments in the case day after tomorrow when the case comes up for hearing. But the court has made its intentions extremely clear. One, the court has said that why is N. Srinivasan sticking to his chair? That is the language that has been used by the court, which is scathing criticism for the BCCI boss. And the court has also said, should you not step aside, we will be forced to issue an order, which essentially means not leaving N. Srinivasan with much of a choice. I'll just remind you, Deepthi, that it was extreme ease with which N. Srinivasan had managed to retain control of uh, the BCCI. If you remember, it was in September last year when uh, the election had taken place and N. Srinivasan had been elected unopposed after being uh, proposed by uh, the uh, South Zone uh, um, uh, bodies and he'd been elected unopposed. There was absolutely no opposition from either side of the political spectrum, something that uh, Mr. Kishore Bimani has already outlined for us. In fact, if we can go back back to uh, Mr. Bimani, you know, um, scathing criticism from the court today. But uh, as you were saying earlier, there was really no opposition when N. Srinivasan uh, was uh, re-elected uh, and, uh, you know, he managed to retain control unopposed of the BCCI. Well, there are two good reasons for this. First of all, it's a question of you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Because uh, both sides know that in, next time it will be somebody else's turn and they must join forces and stand against the rest of the world. Now there they were the top people from BJP, top people from the NCP and Congress, people like Rajiv Shukla and uh, uh, not to speak of Mr. Sharad Pawar and Mr. Arun Jetli and so on and they did nothing. Mm. What it means is that the BCCI is a government of its own. Today, uh, Saad Bin Jung said a little while earlier that the rot has set in, it's destroyed the board. Where do you start? You have to start right at the bottom. Get rid of all this, get rid of political influence, get rid of uh, concerned parties, people who are involved in it, people who are involved financially, politically and so on, and set this thing right. I am only happy, and I think we all at the times now are happy, that uh, today the court has taken steps has taken a firm view, given mm -hmm. Srinivasan a direction that you please step down. We are giving you two days. Resign rather than be sacked. Because it would be terrible if two days later, day, yes. day, day, day after tomorrow, when the court comes in and says, you must now get out.